Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna to be showing y'all how I went from straight to curly and how I reverted my hair. And I'm gonna be using this unbrushed. I'm a little bit late on doing a review on this, but I still wanted to get a video put up. So this is what my hair looks like when it's still straight. It was very oily and needed to be washed. So I'm starting off with using this pre-poo. I use this even when my hair is uh, curly. I like to use like a pre-poo or some type of like oil or something. Um, before I even wash my hair when it's curly. So I'm using this because I wanted some type of product in my hair as I'm reverting my curls back. And then I'm using the water spray. Obviously you need a lot of water when you're doing this. So you can see like that back part was reverting pretty nicely. I went ahead and just did, I was gonna do sections at like each uh, section at a time, but then I'm like, let me just do my whole half of the head. Um, but yeah, I'm using the brush. I tried, it was so hard for me not to finger detangle because I'm so used to doing that and not using a brush. But I'm continuing to brush my hair and that front part was like, it kind of took a while to revert back and it was a little scary because I thought my hair was not gonna be reverted back all the way. Like, look at that. It like took a long time. Even now, it still is not reverted back. But I went ahead and did the same thing on the other side. I decided to just like drench my whole head with water and put the product all over my hair. To me, it doesn't even look like I have a lot of water in my hair, but that floor was covered in water and my shirt got wet too. But I was trying to squeeze out the last of what I had in that bottle and put that on that section of hair. And then I'm using the brush. The brush actually worked very well. It worked now because I'm just like reverting my hair and my hair is going from straight to curly. And then it worked later on too, after I washed my hair, you'll see later on in the video. I'm not used to using brushes either. So I was kind of like, uh, I don't know if I want to use this, but it worked pretty well. And as you see that front section was like being so stubborn and I had to put more stuff on it, more product in it and like continue to comb through it a little bit more. This is what my hair looked like when I got done putting in the product. Some pieces were a little bit like stringy and I had to go back and just add more product and like hope that it reverts all the way back when I wash my hair. So this is what it looks like before I washed it. I did put it up in a bun and I let it sit for like maybe an hour, hour and a half before I washed it. I like to treat it as like a deep conditioner and I let it sit for a long time before I wash it out. So this is what my hair looks like when I got done washing my hair and it looks a lot better. Even the pieces that were like stringy and stuff, they to me look a lot better. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using some oil. I like to oil my scalp when I'm done washing my hair. Um, so I do that on this side first. I'm working one side at a time. And then I'm using this uh, curl cream. It's by Maui Moisture. It's like a, it's a curl cream. It's in a bottle thing. I usually have like the jar, but I have this one instead. And I'm just putting that throughout my hair. Again, it took like, or it was hard for me not to finger detangle my hair because I'm so used to doing that. So I went ahead and took out the brush and I'm brushing my hair and I'm starting from root to ends and it worked pretty well, I think. And I would say so myself, it worked very well and it detangled my hair nicely. And before you say it, I know, and I'm pretty sure I have heat damage in the front of my hair. At first I was like, I don't know, because that part of my hair is a little bit looser than the rest because I like slick back the front of my hair the most but I feel like I do have heat damage in the front of my hair on that section so yeah I went ahead and finished up that side and I braided it I only braided it because I didn't want to style my hair just yet but I wanted product in my hair you know I'm doing the same thing on to the other side here and you can see and tell I'm going to show you here it's a difference in my hair on this side and that side especially like the front as you can see like my hair when I'm doing this side it actually curls back up you know when you use a brush and you brush the hair and it like is straight and then it curls back up like the curls bounce back up at the end the other side didn't seem to do that in the front so i do believe i have some heat damage that i gotta take care of i gotta cut it off but i probably won't cut it off for a while so but yeah i went ahead and finished on this side and you see like that close-up it works very well like the brush from root to ends it went through very smoothly and like nice like i must start using this brush but anyways, I went ahead and finished up braiding both sides of my hair. And this is a couple days later when I decided to um, define my hair and add a little bit of gel and let it dry. I kind of flipped it over as a side part so you can't tell. But here you can see it was not curling up correctly like how the rest of my hair is so i'll just have to deal with that another time i hope you guys like the short video of me reverting my hair and then also doing a review on the unbrush this is actually the brush i was using before and this thing did not work at all so i'm really glad i found this new brush to use 
With all that being said, I hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos for me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!